Level one, Paul here. Um, before I get started with your first training video, um, I, I'm gonna offer an exclusive bonus video as well. This is gonna be kind of over the same topic that I'm talking about today, but it's a video that I made a little bit uh, earlier on. So um, I'm gonna, in that video, I mean, today we're gonna kind of go over the same thing, but hopefully I'll go over some new things in this video today. Uh, before we get started with uh, making money online, affiliate marketing, that kind of thing, we want to go over kind of mindset and uh, kind of the proper ways you need to be approaching things online. So we're going to be looking at some examples of affiliate pages, uh, just some random uh, affiliate pages. When an affiliate marketer comes online and they do things kind of the wrong way, versus how to kind of do things the right way to get started online. So uh, we're gonna look at a site called ClickBank and I'm gonna go more in depth with this in a l later video, but um, what I'm basically just gonna do is I'm gonna pull some some affiliate sites from here. We're gonna you know, pull some random, random affiliate sites and we're gonna see the kind of like, uh, the proper ways to promote it and how most people will start promoting it. So, okay, so this is ClickBank and uh, I'm gonna really go more into this later on. But uh, what we really wanted to do is look at some examples. So once you sign up on ClickBank, so uh, uh, it, in the next couple of videos, I'll show you kind of how to get started. Right now, I wanna focus on mindset. But I will be mentioning about ClickBank uh, later on in this training. So we're just going to look at a couple examples right here. Um, we're going to look at a couple sales pages. Uh, right now I'm going to sort this by gravity. So I am just going to... We're going to look at a couple here. E-marketing. And I switch it over to gravity because that's what has been selling the best. Uh, the gravity score here. You you want to go with something that's 50 or above, because that tends to be something that's selling pretty good. But what we want to look at is the sales page. So let's look at a couple. Okay, so what I've done is I've opened four different sales funnels from ClickBank that we're going to look at, and we're going to kind of compare. Uh, if you have the kind of the mindset, if you want, if you if you want to promote these, uh, would it be a good way for you guys to actually uh, make some uh, affiliate commission? And I'm um, I'm gonna show you guys what people do wrong, and I'm gonna kind of show you uh, the right approach to uh, selling these things on on a ClickBank or any any affiliate marketer at, at that. So let's look at this first one here. Now, uh, if you were responding to like an email and you clicked a link and it just took you to this page and this, it, it, the mindset of someone that just, you know, clicks on an offer and they go to a page like this, it's, uh, it, it's two people that have that mindset. The first one is like, well, I've seen this before. This isn't anything new. Uh, the, they they seen the same the, the same sales funnel, so they don't really know. They haven't met you. They don't know who you are, and if you're if you're trying to make money online, you haven't even inter introduced them to yourself yet. Who they're being introduced to is you know this guy in this video, and he's well known. But uh, if you're just sending them to a sales page, look. Let's say, for example, you're online and you're you're sending them to a sales page. Let's say you have no opt-in form. You have no opt-in form, and you're just taken to this video. Now, let me show you guys something real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys a little behind the scenes of uh, the exact funnel that you guys went to for this training. Now, this might not be, my, you know, my opt-in page may change over time, but. The, this might be what, where you guys came through to get my training. And 
And this is pretty simple here. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to build this. I use Git response, and it's something that I'm going to be talking about later. Uh, right here, it just says right here, exclusive 10-day free training, and they put in the email address. And a funny clip here from Tom Lee Boy, which is one of my favorite movies, but uh, that kind of... And once somebody puts in their email, you know, now I'm going to put in a fake one, but I don't advise you, any of you to do that if you guys want to get all my training. So but I'll just put a fake one here right now. And once you click the button, once you click the button, it'll take you to one of my videos. Now this one is just a temp uh, video because I haven't put the actual my actual uh, welcome greeting in here yet, but you get the idea. It's a template. But basically, after the opt-in, it takes you to a video with ways to contact me. So uh, people that go through my funnel, they, they start the process of actually knowing, knowing who you are. So let's look back at some of these, um, some of these sites. Like this is the one we were looking at. So this is already a pre-made sales funnel. And uh, this guy is well known. His name is John Cristani, I believe. So let's see what happens if we hit this. Now what this is actually doing is it's setting you up for a webinar. And... Uh, what it what it's actually doing on this one is it it's going to directly to the affiliate site. So uh, if you guys just sent someone to this website without an opt-in page, which is let's go back to my main opt-in page here. If you don't build something like this. And let's see where we go here. Where was that one right here? Uh, right here. Okay, so if you if you were a new online, which it's a mistake that I made when I was online uh, at first, uh, pe people, newbies online will just promote this page. And it's doing two things wrong, okay? First off, you're not capturing the lead they're not going to your autoresponder, which is all this I'm going to cover later. But everybody that opts into my funnel right here, and it may look pretty simple, but it just captures email. And you see that I'll get contacts. Now, I haven't actually made any of these live yet, but you get the idea. The, it, everybody that puts in their email address here, ag gets added here as a contact. When you take them directly to this site, you don't have that option. You, 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 lose, that, you lose that prospect as a potential uh, prospect for your list. Uh, on this one, I believe it just takes you straight to a webinar. Yep, you can sign up enter your first name, enter your email address. That's what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> this is actually going to go to uh, John Cristani's uh, list. Uh, and he's already well-known. You're the one that has to become well-known. So th that's what happens when you put in your email address here. It's not going to your list. It's going to his list. And he already has a ton, so... You need to make your own in order to stand out in front of everybody else. So uh, rule number one is don't promote the sales pages. And you got to stand out and you got to stand out and you got to make videos and you got to brand yourself. That's kind of like the hard lesson that uh, affiliate marketers online don't understand. You have to you have to branch out and you have to make videos and you you have to tell your story and have you have to have people connect with you. You don't want people connecting with people on on sales pages here because they're not you. It's your business, not them.
So let's look at another one. Okay, so there's this other one here. It's called uh, 12 Minute Affiliate. So let's just see what happens. Uh, let's see what what the video here says. In this quick video, I'm going to share with you a really easy way of making money online that you've never seen before. And while you all... All right, just with a couple seconds of playing this, we don't know who is behind the video presentation. If you sent them to this page here, it's just like a slideshow with a bunch of text, and the person hasn't even shown their face yet. And you don't even know who's behind it. And you want to put in your name and email address here. So I'm not going to do it, but you just put your you just put your name and your email and you get on their list, not not yours. You want to be the one getting on the list. You want to have that contact come here. And I'm going to show you guys later how to build your own how to build your own uh, opt-in pages. It's pretty easy. And to make like the one that they made here to mirror kind of this this same exact one, it's it's pretty simple, and you can probably do that with Git Response. But I'm going to talk about that in a later training. Okay. So what we've learned so far is. Uh, when you're getting started online, you want to build your own custom opt-in page. That means uh, uh, it's a page with a opt-in form, enter email, and to, uh, to the left you can either have a picture or a little video. But right now, my opt-in form for this my opt-in form for this campaign has a clip, uh, but you can do anything. You can do your own clip. A short clip, uh, like like a little slide presentation, or you can have just your own picture there, and people people will opt in. And when they go to the thank you page, which is the next screen, when they go to the thank you page, that's when you really put the video in there on what the that prospect uh, can can expect from you. So that's what you got to do. You never promote the the sales pages that are given to you. You always want to stand out. You always want to be creative. So anyway, well, let's look look at a couple more examples. Just okay, so like I was saying, this page, let's just play a couple more seconds, and we'll see if in, anyone pops up or any, any well-known people pop up. I already know that I can't legally make you any guarantees or promises. I can tell you that we have in fact had people who had never made a dime in an online business before actually see commissions their very first week with this system. Here are just a few testimonials from our private... Okay, so already I don't know how many seconds this is playing, but we still don't know who's behind this. And um, whenever, whenever you're buying something online, you always want to know who's behind what you're buying. So... Even if you grow your email list up and you're you're going to promote them something, you always want to promote them something you can stand behind. Uh, I probably wouldn't promote this for the for the reason that you don't even know who's behind it. You want to you want to introduce yourself before anything when you're when you're making a video. So we don't even know who, who's be behind this doesn't give us any idea but this is something I personally wouldn't even promote and even if I was gonna promote it uh, I would I would put a sales funnel in front of it the same thing I did for this for the funnel that you guys went through so let's look at another one okay this guy is well known um, and if you've been around YouTube long enough, you know who this guy is. Uh, you probably heard of Ty Lopez. So, total opposite of what, what we've just saw. This guy is well known. You're just promoting Ty Lopez. So let's see what happens when we hit. This will be something similar to the John Cristani one, but let's uh, 
Let's just see what happens when we click claim your spot. Yeah, it's branding Ty Lopez. Name and email, this is not your opt-in form, this is his. So it's the same thing as uh, the, the John Cristani one we were looking at. It is, you're going to be getting on his email list, not yours. So if I were to promote this, I would have to do a little bit of research on this. Uh, but and I'd, I'd, I'd have to check out the affiliate and all that but it would be probably something I would promote if I you know, do a little bit of research on it but what I would do differently is I wouldn't just promote the sales page I would add a opt-in page and then to be really technical I would have an opt-in page like this and I would take it to a bridge page like um, Thank you, Paige. Let me just show you real quick. I would take them to a bridge page, which is basically uh, uh, you introducing yourself. So it would be like this. I would I would talk about the product in this video, maybe link the affiliate site, but mainly what I would do differently with Ty Lopez, with the Ty Lopez stuff, is I would become a product of the product. I would always look for ways to give value to the per the prospect coming in. So what I would do is I would actually it, it, it's called product of the product, and I would actually I would actually buy the product, get involved with it, learn about it, and then make videos on my campaigns. Like I'd have the opt-in form, and then my sales my my bridge page or so my bridge page would be basically me telling the prospect what I've learned from buying uh, this this opportunity uh, it's one or two ways you can actually teach pe people what you've learned from it and once if, if people find value in so that's what I would do in this scenario is I would create a training around uh, an affiliate offer. So um, I would go through it, I'd buy it, I'd look through it, and then I'd make videos on what I've learned about it. Uh, kind of the same thing that I've done for my, you know, 10-day training, except it wouldn't be a 10-day training. It would be just, well, what I've learned from this affiliate program and how it's helped me. I'd spread it out over 10 days, kind of like the same way that I'm doing uh, with this 10-day training. But let's check out one more. Okay, so this one is called Speechello. Speechello. So this is something you you wouldn't want to promote just this, like I've been saying. You want to have you know, this is probably something I wouldn't even promote. Like I've been saying, we want to know who's behind it. So. Let's let's check a look at the video and see. We, the there we go. People would gather around the fire and listen to stories. That's why a good video is not efficient without a good voiceover that tells the actual story. Why not uh, have an actual person too? Okay, so this is kind of like a slide. You you don't know who's involved, and whenever I find things involved, whenever I find th things to promote, I like to know who's involved. Uh, that's just a big rule of thumb that I have. I allow. I always like to know who's behind it. So uh, this is something I probably wouldn't promote. Again, it's like a it's like a speech company, so you can target maybe. Okay, so got some testimonials and things. So it could be a good product for. Uh, not, I'm really not sure if it's to help improve speeches or, or it's for voiceovers or things like that. Oh, you can use you can use male and female voices for. So I guess that's what they're doing in in the slide presentation. But but you still don't know who's behind it, uh, and that's a big rule of thumb that I have. Is I want to know who's behind. Okay. So anyway, what we've learned in this training 
is you don't want to promote the company's sales pages because what you want to do is you whatever you're promoting online uh, you want to stand out you want to be the, the first person that they see in whatever you're promoting online just like I did when I brought you guys in my my 10-day training now my, my opt-in page may change over time because you want to keep track of conversions and things like that and that's something that I'll talk about later in this training but right now this is a pretty simple opt-in form you got a video it's kind of funny but I'm not going to play it because of copyright stuff uh, but then you just simply put it in your email address and it takes you to it takes you to the thank you page and the thank you page is where I would put a video so I would have a video of value so uh, there's certain things it depends on what you want to do online um, I follow this strategy for pretty much what I do online in affiliate marketing. I use it for affiliate marketing. Uh, I use it for, for whenever I want to create my own training. Um, and if, when you create an opt-in page and then, and then you have, uh, it, you have your little video, you'll, I try to create as much value as I can to, to whatever it is that I'm promoting. So, uh, some examples of this would be, well, for affiliate marketing, it works pretty much the same way. I would use, uh, become a product of the product. Uh, I'd actually buy the product, go into it, look around, uh, learn about it, and then I'd make my opt-in page, lead them into a video, and then give videos out for for like the next 10 days in the autoresponder sequence. And this is stuff I'll go over in detail. Uh, but I would go in detail for like 10 days and talk about how you, what, what you've learned from that affiliate offer. That's how I would promote affiliate uh, offers. I, uh, I, don't, I don't like sending the prospect in, opt in form, and they just see one video. The ways to not to do it is you don't want to ever just lead them into a sales page, which is what we saw, the John Cristani and the uh, uh, the other uh, Ty Lopez. You don't want to just take them straight to the affiliate site. You always want to stand out, and you always want to tell people and show people how that opportunity can actually help someone else. So, so put your mindset in that that way of thinking so we're in this you've got to think in the mind of the prospect coming in and they're looking to kind of make money online too and you want to give them value you you're going to want to teach them uh, why they should join you and why that particular opportunity can help them so that's what i would do in that example and then the ones that we saw that we didn't know who belonged. I just w wouldn't stick to any of those personally. I, I try to find things that can help somebody. Uh, I, pr I try to put myself in the mind of an entrepreneur, and uh, that's kind of what I want to go over in this tra training. What kind of things can somebody promote and start building multiple sources of income online? And uh, some of the things that I promote, that I promote and that I'm an affiliate is, are tools that can help an entrepreneur. I look for things uh, that can help people, specifically entrepreneurs. You can do stuff like, uh, you can do do your own case study you know, for like muscle. Uh, I'm not too big on muscle and things like that, but uh, if like it's if it's gym or protein or things like that, you can you can actually do. Uh, strategies on how it affected you day by day document it and show people your progress with that whatever you do with uh, the prospect coming in you want to make sure that they 
to get some value into whatever you're talking about. And if, if a prospect sees that you're authentic and giving value, they'll, they'll stick around for a long time because you're giving value. You're not just sending them to some random affiliate site. So that's kind of what you guys got to do when you get started online. It's, uh, I hate to say it, but there, there is a little work involved when, it, when, when you want to be successful with affiliate marketing. Uh, th there are uh, other people that, you know, they have their opt-in page and then, then they just link it to a, an affiliate site. And that's, to, in my books, that's, that's still a wrong way to do it, even though you're still collecting the prospect uh, you, you're bypassing the whole uh, the, the prospect meeting you and learning you and understanding you so that that's what the bridge page is actually good for so anyway I wanted to make I wanted to make my first I want to make my first video on mindset and kind of like it, uh, what I promote and how I promote it and my style uh, I am going to be showing you guys more in the next nine days. Some extra stuff as well along the way if you guys stick around for a little bit longer past the 10-day mark. But other than that, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned for day two and I'll see you guys in my next training.